what would drive people to want to inflict such pain on on a creature that's caused them no harm whatsoever? I, I think that's the thing. It's so when you, when we read that story this morning, it's so shocking. And then you sit there and go, what is in their minds that there isn't one single moment out of mm. three or four young boys who go this is horrendous like not one of them there, yeah, there was no empathy mm. yeah. there was no moment of and that's i think what's scary because that to me means dog child adult they could do that to to i mean it's bad it's mm. horrendous they've done it to mm. this defenseless mm. poor I mean, dog it, it but makes that, you, they can do it to it anything. makes you think what have these four children seen in their life to think that behavior is acceptable mm. i mean that's what it comes down to because it, it, what kind of environment are they living but in is there always a reason for that kind of cruelty? well i think I, mean, I think it's a behavior isn't it so it, it, and a behavior can be learned but it can also be unlearned so, well, for me, I think they were I, high I on drugs, the... you know, and often when there's four of them and they G each other on... I mean, I, I would imagine, you're right, there's a reason, but maybe yeah, not always. I, unfortunately, in this instance, these four teenagers attacked a dog, but there are uh, cases in the past where kids of a similar age have also attacked other toddlers and mm. tiny children. So Colleen is mm. right. And the thing that I draw from this is that they they have they confessed to take being on drugs and they also gave the dog drugs. And I think they had seen stuff on the internet, they'd seen they'd played violent video games or computer games. They don't see any mm. boundaries because they're in well, we, we they're don't not taught any kids. boundaries because my no, kids they're... have played these computer games mm -hmm. and yeah. you yeah. know they've watched films with violence in but they just wouldn't dream of going out and, and doing something but like that. Yeah, so but she, exactly. But if I was running, if I was the council in Margate, which is the which is where they all came from, where this happened, I would want to. Um, deal with this in the schools. I'd want people in all the schools in Margate carefully talking and beyond. to... Yeah. ..talking to children, even in primary school, and getting across to them that in the real world there are boundaries and there is a dignity mm. and a way that you behave to other people and to animals. But what about the punishment, though? Because the, the, the law clearly draws <coughs> a distinction between this kind of cruelty towards uh, an animal and towards a human, because you can't imagine that if they had inflicted this pain on another human being that they would have got a 12-month no. referral no. order. And actually, Mark Spencer, who's a Conservative MP, is actually saying, and I think this is... Uh, recent or this morning, in the light of some extremely distressing cases of animal cruelty, I believe it's time we toughen up sentencing guidelines to deter these people who want to commit awful crimes. And Emma's saying the same thing. It can often lead to cruelty to humans. Lock them up before they get that opportunity. Shirley saying it's far too lenient. Well, do, do we need to be tougher and not we, see the distinction we, between... I think we certainly do, absolutely. Um, and, you know, whether it's locking them up in some kind of rehabilitation you know, situation, mm. not necessarily... Well, the referral in a, in a order, hard... part of that is that but, there is a kind of rehabilitation element. Yeah, but can I it. just say that, in actual fact, when I heard their sentence, I was quite surprised that they got that much of a sentence because normally you read these cases and they get, you know, a £50 fine mm. or... Mm. I mean, I've got an example of, um, you know, when Kira was three years old, uh, we bought her a gorgeous mm. little rabbit and, um, you know, six months down the line, some kids jumped over our back wall, the rabbit was in the back garden and decapitated it. Oh. And when we called the police, they said, you know what, even if we catch them, they said they'll get a slap on the wrist and a £20 fine. There's nothing... But the trauma do. And it's not family. done as cruelty, it's done as... Um, What's it like? Property causing unnecessary right, yeah. so yeah. property. But the trauma yeah. on your family. So, did you have yeah. counselling? Like, did your daughter have counselling? We for didn't that? tell. Well, we didn't actually tell. We just said that um, the rabbit wasn't very well. And locking it went to but locking these boys say. up is not going to achieve anything. No, it's they not. need counselling, yeah, and their do. families need to be brought into yes. it because do, they're probably do, don't still they need living. The shock at home? of their lives. You know yeah. that if they think that they can carry out this kind of cruel act on another creature. I mean, I'm usually the the lefty on this panel, but. Actually, maybe they do need the absolute shock of their lives and, and get banged but, up. But you don't know, but they, yeah. might, yeah. but they might be living in a really shocking environment already. They might so be. That's their law. They, they might be, be. but they might not And, and that's be. up to a court to take that mm. into consideration. But I, but I, think, you know. I think statistics show that if you ha give people counselling, you, t you t think about... You talk about their feelings, you thought 
think about their thoughts. You can correct behaviour. Putting them in jail, okay, and just throwing away the key, they're just going to come back out no, and I'm do not, it again. I'm not throwing away you a know, key. I'm never going to say throw but, away the key. And I'm I not think... saying that jail on its own. Absolutely, there should be, yeah. you know, some kind of rehabilitation programme. And, and also but part of this referral matter. order... But it's a family matter. It's not it picking out mm -hmm. the boys. One of the boys, uh, one of the 16-year-olds who, who pleaded guilty, his father has had to pay the cost of 5800 Now, I don't doubt that that father will be really, really telling that boy off. But actually, the whole family, because the family produced that child, mm. that child didn't come out of nowhere. And the counselling and the, the way of getting kids back on track can't be done by locking them up. Mm. I completely disagree with that. Well, well, I mean, I surprised myself, to be honest. But, I mean, how do you shock young people into saying, well, no, this is utterly, utterly unacceptable? I mean, and I'm all for understanding. But if they but are locked up, be... they'll meet other young offenders. But there has it's to be pointless. consequences to actions like this.